Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 10 ways to tell if your products are fake. People buy products every day. Sometimes they're real, but sometimes they accidentally buy fake products. This list will ensure you're never scammed by a fake product again, and it will even allow you to catch out your friends showing off their fake stuff, so stay tuned. But first, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 10 we have Nike. Nike is the most popular shoe brand in the world, and sometimes their shoes can be pretty unaffordable so there's no wonder there's fakes out there. Some people purposely try and buy fake Nikes to save money, however thousands of people every day are scammed paying full price for fake Nike clothing. But these easy tips will allow you to never be scammed again. One simple way to tell a real from a fake just at a glance is to do with the brightness of the shoes. Fake Nikes use cheap materials which are usually shiny and bright, but the real ones do not do this and are made with less reflective, genuine materials. Another good thing to look out for is the SKU number. Compare that to the one on the box and if it matches then they're real. The reason why this works is because on fake ones the box is bought separately. This means the SKU number won't match up to the shoe. Also a big clue is where it says the shoes are made. If they say made in China or made in the USA, they're fake. Nike shoes are all made in Vietnam, so make sure they all say that. Nike shoes are the most popular brand in the world, but also the most fake, so use these tips and beware. Next up is iPhone. A lot of us can spot a fake iPhone from a mile off because we're so familiar with them. But what about the brand new iPhone 8 and iPhone X? For the iPhone X, a few fakers have been making it but without the black notch at the top. Even though many say it doesn't look good, if your phone doesn't have this, then it's fake. Another key thing to look out for is the phone's flash. If your iPhone flash looks yellow, then it's fake. This means plastic has been used for the flash cover instead of glass. The real phone flashes are a clear orange color. You can also flip the phone over and look at the lines in the back. If the lines are very dark and bold, then this is a cheap fake. The real iPhone's lines are more subtle and light. If you bought the phone in a box, you can even use the charging cable to see if it's a fraud. The metal part of the cable should be smooth and have no texture. However, the fakes use a cheap material which has a grainy texture to it. So hopefully these tips mean you won't get scammed buying a fake iPhone X. Then again, paying $1,000 for a phone is arguably a scam in itself. Next up is Zippo. When it comes to lighters, they're either amazing or they suck. Zippos are the most trusted lighters and nothing like the ones you get in your local convenience store for a dollar. Zippos are built to last and they come with a lifetime guarantee. However, this guarantee does not extend to fakes, which break very quickly. You may be surprised, but fake Zippos are everywhere, especially in the USA. Zippo make it easy to spot fakes as they have a patent. One thing to listen out for is the click your lighter makes. Zippos have a very distinctive click, so if you know what it sounds like, then test it against a fake. But if you don't know what a Zippo click sounds like, like, then check out the bottom of the lighter. At the bottom it should have a stamp telling you it's real and telling you the date it was made on. The fakes don't have this stamp at all, and if they do, they usually don't even say if it's made in the USA. Finally, the Zippo Fuse is very unique. It has a metal thread running through it to make it last longer. This is expensive and hard to do, so fakers simply don't bother. So now you'll know if that shady guy on the sidewalk is selling you a real Zippo or a fake one. Next up is Ray-Ban. Whether you're a pilot, a movie star, or Casey Neistat, everybody loves wearing Ray-Bans. They have some classic designs that are instantly recognizable, but what's not always clear is which Ray-Bans are real and which are fake. This can be a big problem because even well-established stores in New York and LA have been caught selling fakes before. The most obvious way to tell a bad fake is to test if the lenses are made of glass or plastic. Ray-Bans use real glass instead of plastic or a glass substitute. So give it a few flicks with your fingernail and if it sounds like it does when you flick glass, then this is good. We all know about the Ray-Ban engraving on the glass, but most fakes have this. But what most fakes don't include is the Ray-Ban engraving on the nose pads. There are tiny engravings on the nose pads, so watch out for them too. Also, you can look at the glass's right arm to ensure that the model number is on there. It should say made in Italy, and it should also say CE, meaning they're European or USA if they're American. Also, if the serial number on the glasses doesn't match with the one on the box, then you have yourself a fake. Next up is Rolex. When it comes to faked products, watches are number one. And the most faked brand of watch is of course Rolex. The main way to tell if a Rolex watch is fake is to look at the calendar on the watch face. It shouldn't be too light and should also be warped by the magnifying glass. If it looks flat and light, then you know the watch is fake. The watch should also be tight fitting. If it hangs on your wrist, then it's likely fake and has not been made to the correct specifications. Also, Rolexes are automatic, not battery operated. This means you should hear a fast, smooth tick rather than slow ticks each second. One of the hardest parts in a Rolex to fake is the watch's tiny serial number that's lasered into each watch. The serial number should be seven different numbers, no more, no less. Less. And it should also say either stainless steel or a ridge Rolex design. Most counterfeiters either don't have this or it says original instead of the shortened a ridge. So before you blow $12,000 on a phony Rolex, think about these factors to make sure it's real. 
Next up is Louis Vuitton. When it comes to fancy designer brands, Louis Vuitton is definitely up there. From bags to belts, this company does it all. On the bags, make sure the LV logo is in the middle of the bag and not sewn into the side like a fake. The inside of the bag must also have a pattern and not just be one plain color. Also, all Louis Vuitton bags have a stamp on a leather tag which says the country was made in. This can only be one of five countries, France, Spain, Italy, Germany, or the USA. If it says any other country like China, the UK, or Vietnam, then this means the bag is a fake. For Louis Vuitton belts, make sure the belt actually exists on their website. Sometimes belts are made only in the fake Chinese factories, such as the silver and black belt, that doesn't exist. Also make sure there's stitching on the inside of the belt as this means the belt's been properly sewn and is real. The belt buckle will also use flathead screws instead of basic cheap screws that the fake ones use. And finally, there should be a measurement of the belt etched into the back in centimeters and inches. Most fakes will either just have centimeters or inches, but not both, or just don't include any measurement at all. Next up is Beats. Two things that are faked a lot are clothing items and technology. Well, Beats headphones are like a combination of fashion and tech, so they're a prime target for counterfeiters. The first thing to look at when deciding if a pair of Beats headphones are real or not is to check the serial number printed on the box. This is located at the bottom of every box, however not on the fakes. On the fakes, there is a number, but it's printed onto the box, not on a sticker. The box should only ever be in five languages, English, French, German, Spanish, or Italian. If you see a box in Chinese or Portuguese, which is common, then it's a fake. Also on the headphones, the word beats should be lasered into the metal very finely. If it's just printed on or not there at all, then you have yourself a fake. Also, the headphone jack where you plug your cable in should be made of a good metal, and not a cheap plastic. You can also pay attention to the inner headband, as this should always be made of a softer material. If it's made of the same hard shell plastic that the rest of the headphones are made of, then it's probably a fake. Coming up next is Adidas. We've covered the most popular shoe brand in the world, Nike, but now it's time for their main competitor, Adidas. A way to spot fake Adidas Yeezys is to see how thick the black part on the bottom of them is. It should be fairly thick and get larger. However, if it's thin and the same width all the way around the shoe, then it's a fake. Also, the inner sole of Adidas sneakers should not be facing the same way. It should face left on the left shoe and right on the right shoe. This is the same for the underside of the Adidas Yeezys. Also, a lot of Yeezys boxes are written in Arabic. The seller simply tells the buyer they bought them while in an Arabic-speaking place like Dubai. However, this would be fake, as Adidas boxes are written in English in Arabic-speaking areas. And another thing to look out for on the bottom of Adidas Yeezys is the soft, foamy material. On fakes, this is made of a cheap, flat material to save money. So, use these tips to avoid ever getting scammed by a fake Adidas seller. They're very common, especially when it comes to Yeezys, so be alert. Next up is MAC makeup. While things like fake watches and shoes won't be dangerous to you, fake makeup can be. Some women who have used fake makeup have ended up with bad reactions and scarring. MAC is the most popular makeup brand and there's a way to tell if it's real before even opening it. Look at the case and you should see a lot of glimmery shiny particles. Fakes often don't have this shine or have a cheap alternative. Also ensure that the logo looks flat, as on the fakes it's often more risen up. The lip balm of real MAC makeup is also much more securely fastened as the plastic is molded well. Not to mention the makeup should be flat when you open it up. Fake makeup is always crushed up as it's taken from large containers of fake makeup. So if you see any examples of fake makeup in your makeup, do not use it. This is because it can be dangerous and make your skin look bad permanently. Next up is Timberlands. Timberlands are one of the most successful shoes ever made. They never seem to go out of style and there's always a market for them. However, there's also a market for fake Timberlands. A key way to spot real Timberlands is that there are more orangey brown color than the yellow fakes. Also, the logo should be dark and ingrained into the shoe. However, on fakes, it's often stuck on or either yellow and gold. While Timberland is an American company, their shoes are made in China. Some counterfeiters will write made in the USA, but this is wrong as the real ones say made in China. There's also a unique serial number on every Timberland boot. You can use this number to find your exact pair on the internet to see if it really exists. If it does, then you can sleep easy knowing you have real Timberlands. But otherwise, you've got yourself a fake, my friend. Check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the best tip to spot a fake product. And guys, be sure to check out my second channel, The Crafty. There'll be a crafty video popping up on screen in a second, so definitely click it and subscribe too. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.